What is happening guys? It is Ross and Jay uh, again here with a new tutorial on Cinema 4D. So um, if you want to learn more about this uh, before we get into this actual video, um, I will be doing tutorials on Cinema 4D, Sony Vegas 10 and anything else you want me to do the hell a tutorial on. Um, so let's get started practically. Put in a floor like always and rapidly press 0. Um, this time you're not going to want to put in a wall. Uh, so then, MoGraph, text. Oh, that was put weirdly. Let me just swap that round actually. Um, afterwards, you're going to want to change the text to your channel name, Ross and J for me, and make the depth 100. Change the font to a font you like, and then we can get started. So, um, this is slightly more complicated, um, but I do like this. Uh, it's very cool. You guys will agree with me as soon as you see this. So what you're going to want to do, um, if you do it the way I want to do it, then drag red, and then click on the red, click reflection, and make it uh, fresh now, I, I believe it's pronounced, to make it a shiny, nice little... I did not mean to put that there. I was trying to go over here. Hold on, I need to cough. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so um, then you're going to want to look down and you're going to want to put this up a little bit. Hold on, let me just move over here. Um, you're going to want to lift this up ever so slightly. Okay, there we go. Um, then I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to need 11 lights. Um, this is because, like, you know that R there? You're going to have a light here, 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 a light here. Um, did anyone realize that I was practically just saying LE tier? Okay. So, you're going to want to get one light which is in here and here and you're going to want to put it slightly above the ground ever so slightly and then put it under the letter um, I would advise going for the uh, I don't know why I did that uh, I'd advise going for the blue light um, personally but you don't have to so like I said I'm going to need 11 lights and then I can zoom out so light 10 is going all the way over to my R light 9 can go all the way over to the other part of the R light 8 can go all the way under my O light 7 goes under the S light 6 goes under the other S light 5 and 4 can stay under the N Light 3 can stay under there. Light 2 can stay under the... can go under the A. Light 1 can go um, under the other part of the A. And light... or just plain light can go under the A. Um, so let's take a look at what this looks like. <clears throat> it looks really dark. Um, yeah, it does. So what you're going to want to do is, if it looks too dark for you, or if you like it like that, then you can keep it like that. But if it looks too dark, put it ever so slightly back and look again. And voila, you've got a sexy little intro. Um, yeah, I'm not going to show you how to do the camera movements. If you want the camera movements, I'll put an annotation uh, to show you the camera movements in my last video. But until then, guys, um, thanks for watching. I hope you like this little awesome intro-ness. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.